So I've just grabbed Ben Jones, who is from at Virgin Radio, um, DJ from Virgin Radio. They're about to start, but I'm just going to have a quick cheeky interview with you. Ben, what are you doing here? I was asked, and when John Giddings picks up the phone and asks me to do something, I normally say yes. He has quite a uh, quite a power, and you know, it's it's live music. This is what we're here to talk about. I love live music. I've been involved in it with John and other artists for best part of 15 years. So you know, I think we're going to be talking about festivals, but we're probably going to be talking about the live music scene. These chaps have got some incredible stories. So you know, for those people that are here today, it's going to be an interesting 45 minutes. I think. I mean, what a lineup! It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? It's like a festival lineup. Yes. I mean. I, I, I play drums, but uh, if Tim wants to launch into song, that's fine. But it's just going to be some great anecdotes, their insight into you know what is a very vibrant industry at the moment. John's been doing the Isle of Wight Festival for 15 years. Phil's been doing it for, for even longer. Um, and yet the UK music industry has probably never been stronger. You know, you look at the lineup that John's managed to secure for this year's Isle of Wight Festival. Rag and Bone Man just won two Brit Awards. He booked him several months ago. So we're going to be talking about how he forecasts, how he works out who the next big thing's going to be. Because, you know, Rag and Bone man particularly is one of those artists that a lot of people will be going to festivals this year to see. But he came from nowhere, Rag and Bone Man. I mean, I've clearly been working very hard for a long, long time, but my goodness, when I heard him, the minute I heard him, I was like, oh, wow. This is a game changer, which you don't hear very often. Yeah, you know, two Brit Awards uh, in the last couple of weeks. The biggest selling album for, I think he was outselling the rest of the top 20 combined. And and now playing, you know, the Isle of Wight Festival in, in June. You know, the thing I love about that festival, it's the curtain raiser in the UK music scene when it comes to live festivals. Starts on the Isle of Wight, normally ends on the Isle of Wight as well with um, uh, with uh, Robin uh, Robin's Festival, which I've forgotten the name of, but you know which one I mean. Um, so it's good. It's good to be involved and it's nice to be here. I'm getting the wink. You need to get on stage. Right. Thank you very much, Ben. We'll, uh, we'll be back very soon.